Criminal justice is not responsible for your PC and or game files. Always monitor your own risk. I also recommend backing up your game files before following this tutorial. Thank you and enjoy the show. What's going on guys? Criminal Justice here and today I'm going to be showing you how to install the Sandy Shores interior into the Sandy Shores PD. Let's do it. What's going on guys? Criminal Justice here and today we are back with another LSPFR tutorial. God bless you guys. God bless America. God bless our troops that are fighting for our freedom. God bless our veterans and God bless Israel. Guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to install the Sandy Shores PD interior. Uh, shout out to Jeffrey Gamer for this. My brother. Shout out to him because he is the one that done this uh, before me. So shout out to you, man. Uh, guys, let's get right into this and let's click the link down there for the Sandy Shores PD interior. It's going to bring you to this page right here. Now, guys, it does say outdated. However, this works. I would not be showing you this uh, mod if it did not work, okay? So just ignore that. Don't worry about it saying outdated. Don't worry about that. I do encourage everyone to read the description always. The, the descriptions always have a lot of good information in them. So make sure that you read the description only uh, for the single player. That's, you know, unless you're doing this for 5M, which I'm not doing a tour of 5M. This is only for single player. So let's go ahead and click download right here and put it somewhere where you guys know how to get to it. I do recommend your desktop. Once you have it downloaded, let's exit out. And you are going to need your main directory and your open IV. Okay. If you do not have open IV, I will take you to a video right now showing you how to install open IV. Your mods folder, all your patch days included, okay? So with that being said, let's go into our, um, we're going to go into our main directory right here, and we are going to navigate to mods, okay? And if you don't have a mods folder, that open IV video will show you how to get a mods folder. Go to update, time 64, and then DLC packs. This is where we want to be, okay? Now let's minimize our open IV, all right? And then let's open up our open IV and we are going to navigate to mods update update.rpf common and data. We're going to scroll down and the DLC list.xml is what we're going to be using right here, okay? So let's go ahead and minimize our open IV and open up our Sandy Shores PD interior winroar and then double click on this. And we want the one that says single player, okay? So double click on single player. This is going to be the file we're going to be using right here. Let me see if this actually has a, um, a line in it that we can copy. I don't think it does. Yeah, it does not. So here's how we're going to do it. All right, so back to single player. And if you double click on Sandy PD, you will see this is your DLC pack, okay? You want to go back where you're on this Sandy PD folder right here, all right? Open up your main directory, and you should be in... Grand Theft Auto 5 Mods Update Time 64 DLC Packs, all right? Now, as you guys can see, if I scroll down here, I have already got the Sandy PD put in right here, so I will not be dropping anything. I will be showing you how to do it. Go over to your WinRAR and highlight the Sandy PD right there. You want to grab it, drag it, and drop it into your DLC packs like that, okay? Once you're done, make sure you leave the WinRAR up right here where the Sandy PD is, all right? And then we can go back in our main directory after that's installed. And you can click refresh. And then you can close out of your main directory. Open up your open IV. You should be in mods, update, update RPF, common, and data. All right. And you want to go to this DLC list.xml right here. Right click and then click edit. Also, make sure you are in edit mode. Okay. Scroll all the way down to the bottom, very bottom. You guys can see I have my Sandy PD right here. Now, whatever your last line is right here, guys, go ahead and highlight it. Highlight it like that. And then right-click and click copy, okay? And then put your cursor on the end of that very last line just like that. And then hit Enter one time. And then hit Control v as in Victor. Left Control. V, you want to paste that line. Now, you should have two of the same exact lines, okay? 
Now, with that being said, we're going to go over here to the WinRAR, and we're going to highlight the Sandy PD until it is highlighted the way it is right there. You are going to right-click and then copy that, okay? You're going to go over here, back to your DLC list, and you just want to highlight the word between the forward slashes. Do not highlight anything else. Only the word, okay? Just highlight the word right there. Whatever, whatever your word is, it'll be different than mine. Whatever it is, highlight it. Once you got it highlighted, you are safe to backspace, okay? Now, once you backspace, you are going to hit Control V again to paste in Sandy PD, all right? Now, I'm not going to save this, but here's what I want you guys to do. I want you guys to click Save, okay? Save it, it will be done. I'm going to click Cancel. You guys click Save. Now, if you want to go back into the list to make sure it's there, just double click on the DLC list.xml, double click, scroll down, and you will see on the last line is your Sandy PD right there. This DLC list tells the game how to load it, okay? So it tells everything in here is the game telling it to load it, okay? This is how the game tells uh, certain files to load. With that being said, close out of this, uh, close out of your WinRAR, and get rid of that shortcut. Go up here to file and open IV and click close all archives and close out of that. And I will see you guys inside of LSPFR. All right, guys, so we are going to go over and have a look at the Sandy Shores PD here. I'm going to pull up, hop out. We're going to have a look at it real quick. I'm going to show you guys this interior is amazing. Big shout out to uh, Jeffrey Gamer for this man, my brother. Check it out, guys. There's jail cells back here now. I'm so glad Jeffrey found this, man. Uh, big shout-out to GG, man. He is uh, an amazing content creator. He's really great, man, when it comes to finding these new mods. Like, he is... Uh, ooh, what happened back here? Okay. Uh, well, I'm not too sure about that. Actually, yeah, guys, I did that. I'm not going to lie. I did that. Uh, that way you guys don't think that you're supposed to have dead... I don't want you guys to think you're supposed to have dead bodies when you come into your Sandy PD. Yeah. Uh, so they got a little out of hand as you can see they were drinking and uh, I asked them nicely to stop they didn't do it and I had to take them down with lethal force because uh, that guy right there pulled a knife not really he didn't I just went dirty cop but let's go in here guys check this out we got all this stuff here guys from Meriwether there's uh, Jeffrey said there's the server right there I wonder if that thing will actually uh, if you could blow it blow it out Roger, dispatch. We are en route. Oh, I keep forgetting I have Billy weapons installed Good luck, guys. We got some gold back here. Look at this gold, man. All these crates probably full of evidence. Man, look at that gun that drill. That's a big old... Uh, man, I remember those. that's a drywall drill, guys. That is a drill. Man, those drills will drill through anything. But you got to drill slow with them, man. You got to drill really slow with them. And, uh, man, check out that gun. That's pretty cool. And all this money, guys. Look at all this moolah. Ooh, there's a lot of uh, contraband right there, man. Check out them drugs. Wow. I think I might grab me a bag of this on the way out. And nobody saw that. All right, guys. And there's some of the Sandy PD right there. We're going to walk back to these doors. As you guys notice, you can still come in here and go on duty and all that. Uh, you just walk up the doors you always would like you did before. And push E on the keyboard to go on duty or run on your D-pad. So it is the same, but you just have interior installed now. So here's your jail cells. Guys, jail cells look really nice. But that's pretty much it for the Sandy PD, guys. Uh, let's see over here. I think there's some over here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a locker room here, guys. Smells like a locker room. All right, let's see if we can go in here. Oh, this is nice, man. Really nice. Really, really nice. I like this. I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. And this right here, guys, uh, we're going to grab us a drink because we are thirsty. My brother. All right, so we're going to get us a drink. And uh, that's pretty much going to do it with this tutorial, guys. Thank you all for tuning in. I appreciate the love and support. Be sure you subscribe to the channel here if you haven't already. And smash that like button for your boy. As I would greatly appreciate it. Guys, did you know if you shoot the water jug, the water will actually leak out? Look at that. Pretty cool, huh? But guys, that's going to do it for this tutorial. Thank you all so much for tuning into the episode. I appreciate the love and support. Be sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And smash that like button for your boy. As I would greatly appreciate it. And come over and subscribe to CJ Farms. My second channel, guys. We're on the road to 800 subs. I would really appreciate if you guys come over and sub to me. I have almost 20k subs, 
and I would love to see a lot of you come over there and sub to my channel and show me some support. It would really, really mean a lot because it really hurts my feelings when you guys don't do that. So please come subscribe to CJ Bobs. Love you guys so much. Until next time, God bless. Take care. Stay in prayer. Love one another. And peace out. Get in your car, broski. Get in your car. I'm out, baby.